I'm Anders Zappel, and my first question is, what is the significance of the four animals in the Chain of Charm series? Um, the four animals in the Gypsy Clown books, um, I nearly always have animals in my books. I love animals myself. Um, my father was a vet. We grew up in a house full of animals. I think what I did is I, I gave my hero and heroine in, in the Gypsy Clown the pets that I always would have liked to have had. I used to long for a monkey and I used to beg my father to get one for me and he never would. I did have a horse and the horse a leader in the Gypsy Crown is actually based on the horse that I had when I was 11 or 12 and we've always had dogs. We've never had a dancing bear but I've always thought it'd be really lovely to have one. That's all that there is to it. My second question is what made you think of the six charms when you were writing the Chain of Charms series? Um, I spent a great deal of time thinking about what charms I would use uh, in the Chain of Charms series. My initial idea was that it would be a charm bracelet um, with each charm having some kind of meaning, some kind of symbolic purpose to the story and having some kind of power attached to it. I had originally thought of having seven charms but it ended up settling on six because it seemed like the perfect number. Um, each of the charms are real charms and many of them were actually owned by gypsies in the 17th century. For example, the Herb of Grace, um, there is an actual charm. I actually went to Italy to see it in the Museum of Bologna. It's really beautiful, really old and really powerful. Um, each of the charms has some kind of meaning to me. You know, for example, the golden crown, the gypsy crown means um, family, it means uh, leadership, it means um, uh, you know, taking charge of your life. Um, the lightning bolt uh, means uh, power, you know, the power of fire and, um, and danger. The butterfly in amber to me meant the ability to change oneself and to turn um, you know, from a child into an adult. Um, so they all had some kind of symbolic meaning to me and I did actually spend a long time researching them and choosing them. And I'm a fan of Kate Forsyth. I love her book, The Puzzle Ring, and I've read it four times. I just have two questions. One, will there be a sequel to The Puzzle Ring? And two, in your opinion, which is your favourite book that you have written? Will I ever write a sequel to The Puzzle Ring? Can I tell you that I have actually got an idea for one? I don't know when I'm going to write it. I don't know when I have time, because I have so many stories that I want to write but I have got a really good idea, so I hope that I will write it one day. Which is the favourite book of mine that I've ever written? It's a very difficult question. It's like asking me, who's my favourite child? I love every single book that I've ever written. I've loved the writing of it, and I've loved the way that it's helped change my life. Each book has got special significance to me for one reason or another. Um, the book that I'm most connected to, the one that's most important to me, is always the book that I'm writing now. By the time my book actually hits the bookshelves, I'm already well into the next book and they're the ones that are keeping me awake at night. They're the ones that I'm thinking about all day um, and so they're the ones that I love the most at that time.